Joining us at 10 o'clock, everyone, I'm Bob Clawson. And I'm Ashley Katz. Little Rock Board of Directors tasked with crunching the city budget for 2020, but what areas of the city are getting more or less funding? Our Rochelle Turner spent the night at City Hall figuring that out for us. Rochelle, what can you tell us? Well, Bob and Ashley, good, good, good afternoon to you. From city street funding to Rock Region Metro to crime, those were just some of the majority of the topics that people discussed. The mayor says the, uh, the budget is balanced and the goal is to get it planned next week. And he also kind of talked about just other things, but kind of take a look at this video that we shot earlier today. Rock Region Metro sees, uh, will see more than a Three quarter million dollar raise, and people were opposed to transferring two million dollars of that money from the street funds to Rock Region Metro. One man said that there's too many streets and roads in Little Rock that have potholes, they need street lights and or roundabouts. People said while the transit is important, the streets need attention as well. Chief Keith Humphreys also spoke at tonight's meeting. He talked about um, just public safety overall, and the police budget is it's expected to see about a two million dollar increase. And currently, he talked. Um, the chief talked about currently they're working 12-hour shifts, and the goal is to move to 10-hour shifts. And he talked about approving community uh, police relationships, and they addressed some of the violence in the capital city. But take a listen to what Mayor Frank Scott Jr. had to say about street funds and Rock City, excuse me, Rock Region Metro. It's nothing new for the city of Little Rock to utilize street funds to help pay for uh, Rock City, uh, Rock Region Metro, which is our public transit, used to formerly known as CATA. Uh, and so it's nothing new now. There's always been some consternation uh, with the moving of those funds. Uh, however, uh, public transit is a high priority of mobility for all uh, citizens of Little Rock. And some of the other things that were not discussed tonight, but that's a part of the budget, is the Pulaski County Jail, which would jump about 25% in funding, and the Little Rock Zoo, which could receive more than $339,000 in funding for uh, for the year. So, and you, as you guys recall, the zoo is already dealing with some of the budget cuts from last year. They're closed on Wednesdays and Thursdays through February, and um, the golf courses would also reduce more than a half a million dollars. And some of the other things that were discussed tonight that was not on the agenda was glass recycling. It would bring, it would cost about $3.39 for people, and many people spoke out about it. So they were opposed, saying that there's other options in the city that you could use to recycle glass. But we'll be sure to keep you updated online and on air as they vote next week. Tonight was only for discussion. We're now reporting live at City Hall. I'm Rochelle Turner, back to you. Thanks, Rochelle. If you'd like to take a look at the budget draft, just head to krk.com. We have a link for you there where you can read the entire report.